a warm welcome, my dear students, in our health class. To formally start our discussion, first, let us identify the following. Content Standard Performance Standard And Most Essential Learning Competencies The topic for second quarter health 7 is all about nutrition. In this lesson, you will identify the nutritional guidelines for adolescents. Nutrition refers to the intake of food in relation to the body's dietary needs. The process of providing or obtaining the food necessary for health and growth. Good nutrition depends on the combination of food having the required different nutrients we should take daily. The physical changes during adolescence affects the body's nutritional needs. Addressing the nutrition needs of adolescents could be an important step towards breaking the vicious cycle of intergenerational malnutrition, poverty, and chronic diseases. Nutritional Needs of Adolescents The period of adolescence, the transition from being a child to an adult, is the best time to institute proper ways and behaviors in health and nutrition. The growth sprout during adolescence creates increased demand for energy and nutrients. Due to your rapid growth and development of this stage, you have a greater need for certain nutrients such as calcium, iron, protein, and energy food. Good dietary guidance has three important elements, pyramid, plate, and real food. Food Guide Pyramid It emphasizes the importance of eating a balanced and varied diet. The Food Pyramid show examples of what to eat and the right proportion and recommended servings over days of weeks. The tip of the first level are fats, oils, and sweets. It should be taken in small amounts and in moderation. It should be 5 to 8 tablespoons a day is the recommended servings. Here are some food that are included in the first level of food guide pyramid. The second level are fish, shellfish, meat, and poultry. You need 2 to 3 servings a day. Here are some food that are included in the second level of food guide pyramid. The second level also includes milk, yogurt, and cheese. The key ingredient is calcium, which builds strong teeth and bones. You need 3 to 4 servings. Here are some food that can be found in the second level of Food Guide Pyramid. The third level are fruits. It is an excellent source of vitamin C, which heals cuts and keeps skin healthy, and fiber, which helps your digestion. You need 2 to 4 servings per week.
Here are some food that can be found on the third level of Food Guide Pyramid. Another part of the third level are vegetables. They are also great sources of fiber and vitamin A. Just remember that the darker colored vegetables like carrots and broccoli have more nutrients. It provides iron and protein. You need 3 to 5 servings a day. Here are some food that can be found on the third level of Food Guide Pyramid. For the fourth level are greens. This food group gives you energy because it contains carbohydrates. It includes bread, cereal, rice, and pasta. You need 6 to 11 servings. Here are some examples of food that can be found on the fourth level of Food Guide Pyramid. Daily Nutritional Guide Pyramid for Filipino Children 13 to 19 years old. The foods near the bottom of the pyramid where the group of foods should be eaten but taken into large amount and those that are at the top which is the smallest part should be eaten and taken in small amounts. For you to grow and develop to the fullest and to improve your nutritional status, it is important to follow the healthy eating guidelines such as guidelines for a balanced and healthful diet. Eat variety of foods, Consume fish, lean meat, poultry, or dried beans. Eat more vegetables, fruits, and root crops. Eat food in edible cooking oil in daily meals. Use iodized salt. Eat clean and safe food. Exercise regularly. And consume milk, milk products, and other calcium-rich foods. For the activity entitled, My Meal Journal, you have to write what food you have eaten and how many servings have you eaten during any time of the day, from breakfast, snacks, lunch, another snacks, and dinner. Here are the references that I have used in doing my presentation. Photos used here are from Canva. Credits to other photos from different sources, acknowledgement are underneath each pictures. This has been your teacher, Mrs. Cynthia Soledad S. Aspe, leaving you a reminder that joy of giving is one of the best thing in life, so stay healthy and spread happiness! Have a nice day, Grade 7!